Hello everybody and welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this video, I'll be showing how to build simple blinds slash curtains. So if I flip down this lever right here, the sand blocks will get extended up in front of our windows, thus closing anything off on the inside of our house. Then when we flip up the lever, it will retract back down in the ground. Now you'll mainly see these kinds of curtains on smart houses and redstone houses because one, it's a very nice and slick design and two, you won't see a bunch of redstone cluttering up around your windows and your walls, making your house a lot bigger than what it needs to be. Now this doesn't only need to be used for curtains. You can also use it for modern doors or you can also put a gigantic wall around your house if you really want to. So let's go ahead and look at the redstone. So here is our working blinds slash curtains opened up. And as you can see guys, this thing is extremely small. I condemn this thing down into a three by three area so when I flip down this lever the curtains go up thus closing off our windows and when I flip it back up it retracts back into the ground for this build you're going to need a three by three spacing and you're also going to have to dig down seven now the resources for this build are two sticky pistons two regular pistons eight redstone repeaters three redstone torches seven redstone dust one lever five blocks of sand also just giving you a heads up every time you add on an extra line of sand you're going to need two more sticky pistons one more regular piston four more pieces of redstone dust and you're also going to need four more sand blocks once you have gotten your three by three area and you have dug down your seven blocks come to the bottom left hand corner and place in a block with a lever coming off the side of it this is going to be your input block any power going to this block will activate your curtains then to the right hand side of this block put a repeater coming out of it on two ticks delay next coming out the top of the block put another repeater going this way on one tick delay with two pieces of redstone dust in front of it one here and one to the right and then what we're going to do is swing this way and coming out of this piece of redstone dust put another repeater going into this repeater on four ticks delay so what's going to happen is when we power this this repeater is going to lock this repeater so the next time we pick it up it's going to take five ticks for this two tick delay repeater to go off next in front of your two tick delay repeater place down a block with a piece of redstone dust on top of it then coming off the front of this block we're going to place in our two sticky pistons and our one regular piston next take out your sand blocks and place in four sand blocks above this piston so one two three four and this should be flush with your floor once you have gotten your pistons and your sand blocks put in come back down here to your input block and place in a redstone torch above your input block next put a block above your redstone torch come over here to the left hand side and place a block right above this one tick delay repeater right here off the side of your redstone torch then coming out of the block above your redstone torch pull out your repeaters once again and put a repeater going this way on three ticks delay next in front of your three tick delay repeater place in a piston facing upwards this piston should extend up and then place a sand block on top of your piston once you have gotten your piston and your sand block put in we're going to come over to this side place another block right next to your piston above this piece of redstone dust then coming out of your piston place in a repeater going this way on four ticks delay with a block in front of it next to this piston and a piece of redstone dust on top of the block once you have gotten that put in swing back over here to your input block i know i'm moving fast guys but trust me it is a very easy build then right above this block place in a redstone torch the torch will go off and then place two blocks going towards this piston so one two then coming out of your redstone torch place a repeater going this way on three ticks delay then in front of your three tick delay repeater place in a piece of redstone dust once you have gotten that put in put another block above your off torch then what we're going to do is once we got this block above your off torch swing over here and put a block next to this sand block right here and then put a block right above your sand block then right here in the middle divot area we're going to take out our redstone dust once again and place in a piece of redstone dust right in the middle then we're going to swing back over here place another block next to your sand block above this four tick delay repeater right here like so then coming out of this block place a repeater going this way on one tick delay with a block in front of it and a piece of redstone dust on top of it once you have gotten the redstone dust on top of this block swing back over here and above this three tick delay repeater that's next to this off torch put a redstone torch coming off the side of this block then coming off the side of this redstone torch put another block right here and then going into this repeater place one more repeater on three ticks delay and that will lock this hopper now we are completely done however come right down here and this piece of redstone dust cannot be in a beaded motion as you can see it's just a piece of redstone dust we can't have that or else it will activate this piston right here first so just put a block right next to it 
and put a piece of redstone dust coming off the side of it and you are completely done so when we flip down this lever all our pistons extend up perfectly as you see there goes one two and three and then when we flip up the lever all our pistons should retract back down with our sand now guys i know some of you say sometimes things don't work but make sure you double check all of your repeaters coming out of this input block is two ticks there's a four tick delay repeater back there a one tick delay repeater here a three tick delay repeater here another three tick delay repeater right here another three tick delay repeater right here going into a one tick delay repeater here and this one back here is on four ticks make sure you double check all of your repeaters it works then once you are done doing that we can go ahead and take out our blocks of choice i'm just going to fill in right here really quick and then i'm going to show you how to extend it out so to extend it out like i said in the beginning you're going to need at least two more sticky pistons one more piston four more pieces of redstone dust and we're also going to need four more sand blocks so actually let me get out my sand blocks really quick so to extend it out all you do is come up right next to these pistons one two with two sticky pistons another normal piston and four sand blocks one two three four next place blocks next to all of these ones one two three and come out with your redstone dust one two three and there's supposed to be four but we already added that in and that is it guys that is how you extend it out so if i flip this down it goes up and then when i flip it up it retracts back down into the ground so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come out one more time guys so two sticky pistons normal piston four pieces of sand one two three four come out your blocks one two three four put redstone dust on top of all of them and there you have it we extended it out one more time next what i'm going to do is just fill in this whole entire area and we're going to put a little makeshift window in and then we can end the video but if you want to leave now guys you are completely done so i'm just going to take out some stained glass and you know what i also want to take out a there we go i love pillar of quartz so we're going to put three stained glass like this put three more Ooh, not like that i hate putting stained glass on top of other stained glass it's so hard there we go one two three one two three beautiful take out our quartz one two three do the same thing on the other side i like using this because it kind of looks like plastic siding to a house so i'm gonna do it again one two three then we're gonna come up a block right here bring it right along the top of it like that and place in another one right there and there is our nice little makeshift window so when i flip down this lever right here our curtains go up hiding our window and then when i flip it back up the curtains retract back in now you could put this either in the inside of your house or the outside i think it looks better on the outside however if you're making blinds and curtains usually blinds and curtains are on the inside of your house now if you want to bring the power out like i said all you have to do is put power straight to this block so if i take some redstone dust and i just go like this going straight into the block and let's say i want to put my uh, lever all the way down here so let's get my lever out and if i want to place it here i can activate my curtains from over here so boom it goes up and blah it goes down obviously you don't want your lever seven blocks underneath your house so you might want to bring it up into some sort of motion and put your lever maybe up here or something but there you guys have it that is how you build my simple working curtains slash blinds if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace